today I am going to teach you about the following points. Growth and development of during Gupta period and next one another point that is very important. Uh, development in the field of science, development in the field of metallurgy, development in the field of education and educational growth like universities, uh, next one sculpture and last one architecture. You know the Gupta rulers from the very very beginning were fond of patronizing uh, educated people, writers, painters, architecture, uh, architects and uh, metallurgists and dramatists and singers and so on. Those who had distinct, those who are distinguished people, those who had originalities, those who had uh, skills, talents, the Gupta rulers always patronize them, always uh, sanction money for their uh, growth and development. And by that way, you know, there came a remarkable development in the field of science. You know, the great advancements were made uh, in the field of science and technology during Gupta period. Uh, it was due to the effort of Gupta rulers, distinguished uh, works on medicine such as Char Charaka Samhita and uh, Sasruta Samhita was compiled in this period under the special care of the Gupta rulers. And Bhagavatta was a renowned physician. Another one, uh, Dhanvantari, also was a renowned physician. Both of them contributed a lot in the field of in the uh, uh, field of uh, development uh, uh, of uh, humans. Uh, development and experimentation on human's body. A number of medicines they found out, they discovered and uh, by that way so many medicines uh, they, they had uh, discovered in order to uh, remove various types of diseases and protect the people from being, uh, from being died uh, before the, they completed their old age and Arya, Aryabhatta Barahamihila, you know, both of them were famous astronomers during Gupta period. Brahma Gupta also one of the greatest mathematician and uh, astronomers of this period. Aryabhatta, the great mathematician in his uh, famous work, Aryabhatta deals with algebra, deals with geometry and trigonometry. He also propounded the concepts of rotation of art and uh, he also uh, he also explained the reasons of lunar except uh, uh, lunar eclipse and sun eclipse sun eclipses and lunar eclipses both of uh, them and apart from this brahmagupta is said to have described uh, that uh, described the force of gravity before the isaac sir isaac newton the uh, you know scientist of england and uh, apart from this, Sanskrit uh, language also had become a great, uh, great uh, uh, part of education, great part of development, uh, literary development uh, by different uh, distinguished writers, uh, you know, dramatists, poets. Kalidasa was there, one of the greatest dramatists. He also wrote a number of dramas, poems in Sanskrit language. That's why they gave importance to, uh, uh, to learning of Sanskrit. And Brihat Sasrita, Brihat Saptita Siddhanta was composed in verse form in Sanskrit. Uh, Barhamira's work, Brihat Samhita, deals with mathematics, astronomy and trigonometry, botany and physical geography. He explained the movement of the planets and also talked about the revolution of the earth around the sun. So these are the remarkable contributions of the people during the Gupta age in the field of science, my dear students. And in next day, metallurgy. What is metallurgy? Metallurgy. Metallurgy. There was a remarkable progress in the field of development of metal 
and metallic development also enhance the capabilities of different, uh, you know, metallurgists who dedicated their lives for their, uh, uh, for showing their talents and skills and uh, on being, uh, you know, patronized by the Gupta rulers, they showed their talents, you know, the pillar of, uh, you know, the pillar, the known as Nyar uh, Kutubmina, uh, that very pillar was uh, one of the most important and excellent example of uh, metallurgical skills of the craftsmen during that period. And it is said that uh, after having defeated the rulers of Bengal, it was due to the effort of Chandragupta Vikramaditya, that very, you know, uh, metallic, uh, metallic, you know, uh, symbol was uh, made and that metallic uh, which was uh, which was installed in front of the Kutukmina and still it is there had become a moisture, moistureless, still um, uh, still uh, till today moistureless, you know, uh, sun rays is there, rains are there, but still uh, it, it, uh, it, it shows, uh, it shows as a pillar, moistureless, so it's a uh, magic of science which was introduced during the time of uh, the Guptas and uh, it is also said that Chandragupta Vikramaditya uh, you know dedicated the uh, erected the uh, pillar in honor of Lord Vishnu because the Gupta rulers were uh, the Gupta rulers were uh, the Gupta rulers also had faith on the concept Hinduism. That's why the Chandragupta Vikramaditya dedicated uh, the pillar in the name of Lord Vishnu. He erected it in the name of Lord Vishnu. And next one, universities. Universities. You know, the Gupta rulers uh, established a number of uh, educational institutions. Earlier, you know, the educational institutions like, you know, monasteries, viharas, when the centers of education, uh, the Buddhist monks, they taught their students, they taught their disciples from uh, monasteries, from monks, and the monks of the Jain, and the Jain, Jain monks also used to teach their disciples, their students from their from monasteries, you know, in Orisha. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Mass and uh, Brahma. And afterwards, you know, another thing is that the university provided special training in commerce, medicine, and at accountancy, law, and astrology. Harsavardhana further gained prominent, uh, gained Harsavardhana further extended the area of the University of Nalanda because Harsavardhana wanted to uh, wanted to establish his image as a, a patronizer of art architecture and uh, art architecture and culture that's why harshvardhana extended the area of nalanda university and also uh, opened uh, many streams like uh, like uh, commerce like uh, like commerce and uh, botany the department also he opened he started during his age and sanctioned huge amount of money for the cause of uh, educational growth and development. And afterwards, sculpture. That was very important, sculpture. Sculpture, you know, sculpture means you know, the great advancements were made in the field of sculpture. During which period? During Gupta period. While the Buddha was the dominant subject for the sculptors, Subjects are patterning mythology. There are a number of a number of statues also were also were made by different you know sculptures and the statue of Buddha of about 25 meter high of copper statue. It was also found out. The statue bronze statue of Buddha also was found from Sultan Ganj and Bihar. And the seated the statue of Buddha also was uh, was also was there from Sarnath. And the standing Buddha from Mathura also are uh, equally impressive uh, in style, architecture, uh, in style, and uh, uh, ability, uh, in style, the sculptures they made it uh, in order to dedicate their, their uh, dedicate their uh, dedicate and respect uh, for the uh, for the Lord Buddha and uh, to attract the people and travelers of different parts of the world towards Lord Buddha. That's why they may read. And next one, architecture. The last point, architecture. Architecture. What is architecture, you know? Architecture, during the age of the Gupta, the Gupta period marked, marked the beginning of elaborate why Hindu temples and temples also were uh, made, uh, also were constructed here and there during the Gupta period. And apart from this, the Gupta temples with Sikara also have been found at Devghar and Bittergaon. And the, the, the Dasavatara temple at Devghar also has beautiful apl application, carvings on walls. And uh, the Vishnu, in, uh, Vishnu is found in a sleeping posture on a Cessna. It is also found in uh, Devghar, Devghar temple, Dasavatara temple, and uh, scenes also were taken from two great epics of India, the Ramayana and Mahabharata, and a uh, number of scenes also were um, also were depicted on the wall, and some of these also engraved over the wall and of the temples. The Bitargao temple also is built of bricks with beautiful designs. So. Everything was, uh, everything had, uh, everything showed it, it, their, its talents. 
uh, during the Gupta period because of the patronage, royal patronage of the Gupta rulers. They were inspired and they showed their talents, they showed their skills and hence in the field of science, in the field of sculpture, in the field of education, in the field of architecture, they are, uh, they are established a remarkable, remarkable effort of the people during the Gupta period and the image of the Guptas, they, they communicated to other parts of the world, it reached far and wide and uh, the Guptas became the great rulers of India they, for their, uh, for their uh, originalities, for their wonderful contributions and for their remarkable effort and for their dedication and uh, for their patronization and they all became famous rulers of India forever. Thank you my dear Sina. To this next day, the remaining part of that lesson. Thank you.